Welcome, welcome to CBS Mornings on this Election Day 2022, with tens of millions of voters going to the polls in midterm elections that could reshape the political landscape in Washington. I'm Gail King. And I'm Nate Burleson. We are here in New York, and Tony DeCopo is out on the campaign trail in Florida. So you see we're all here. Let's go to today's eye-opener. It's your world in 90 seconds. Vote Republican in a giant red wave. Power in America lies where it always does, in your hands, the hands of the people. Americans head to the polls across the country. What's at stake with control of Congress on the line? We're in the battleground states that could tip the balance of power. And they're talking about a runoff. And I'm like, runoff? We're winning this. We ain't talking about no runoff. And with the future of our country on the ballot, we'll break down the midterms by the numbers. Republicans have to win a blue state, flip it red to get the majority. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says the recent attack on her husband will impact her political future. For me, this is really the hard part because Paul was not the target. That record-breaking $1.9 billion Powerball drawing was delayed due to technical difficulties. A local journalist in Chile was doing a live report on a spike in robberies when a parrot stole his earpiece. Three seconds left. Lillard for Hart. It counts! And the Blazers walk off! The streets of downtown Houston were packed as more than a million fans came out to celebrate their Astros winning the World Series. Someone threw an alcoholic beverage can at Senator Ted Cruz. The last day before the election, we spotted this actual headline in the Daily Beast. Pollsters have no idea what's going to happen this election. Looks well, like a weatherman saying, looking out to the weekend, be sure to bring your umbrella and your sunscreen. Don't forget those ice skates, folks, because it's a hot mess out there, unless it's a cold mess. That's the forecast. With a margin of error of one to four tornadoes, now over to Phil with sports and or local murders. <laughs> This morning's eye-opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. It does feel like a bit of a jumble, depending on your point of view, Nate. You're right. either saying these polls are correct or you're hoping, please let them be wrong. It can be quite confusing. Yes, but today is a day that really matters. Why? Because right. America decides. And we're going to help with that confusion. Yes, yeah. yes we are. We're going to sort it out for you. Yeah. It's a very, very big day in America. History will be made not by the candidates, but by you, the voters, casting your ballots across the country today. Here's what it looks like in Atlanta, Georgia, right now, where the lines outside polling places before they open started to form. More than 40 million people voted early nationwide. We're expecting a high turnout today because there is so much on the line. Yeah, this is where things stand now. Democrats control the House, but not by much. The Senate is split 50-50, but Democrats have control because Vice President Kamala Harris has the tie-breaking vote. Republicans hope to take both chambers. Tony DeCopo is anchoring our election coverage in Florida. Tony, good morning. There is a lot going on, especially where you are at. What's going on? Yeah, hey, good morning, guys. If you love Election Day, I got good news for you. It's here, and if you want it all to end, I got good news for you as well. It'll be over soon. There is a lot going on. The polls are already open here in Miami, the big city behind me, and there's a little bit of rain moving in. Weather is one of the many variables that could affect turnout, and turnout is everything in this election. But by the way, guys, every single voter in America has at least one race to vote on today. Everybody hearing my voice right now, and the results, they're going to shape at least 